This screencast shows how to import data into Datagraph. First, we select the data and copy it onto the clipboard. Then, go into Datagraph, create a new file and paste it in. Notice that the date column is recognized as numbers and we need to convert them into dates. This is done through the context menu. Datagraph suggests a format, but you can select from a variety of formats or define your own. Next, we add the stock command. Select the columns you want to use. Or drag them from the table definition. Stocks are typically displayed using a logarithmic axis. To zoom in on a detail, click and drag to select a region. To remove a component of the graph, you can either exclude it or select it and hit delete. Change the graphical representation by changing the drawing style. When the graph area is cropped and you move the mouse over an axis, a floating window allows you to change the cropping region. To mark a particular point, Add a label and drag it using the mouse. Type in the text of the label. And if needed, position it by typing in the coordinate. You can change the arrow type by going into the detailed view for the label. A quick way to zoom out is to click the dismiss buttons for each axis floater. To change the data, select the columns you want to override and either import, paste or drag in a new data table. This will update the graph immediately and adjust ranges as needed. To prepare for more data, select the columns and click on the group button. Give this group a name. To stop the next import from overriding existing data, you need to deselect columns and rows. To deselect a column, hold down the command key and click on it. Now when you import, paste or drag in data, the data is appended as new columns. As before, change the type of the data column Group the columns together and give the group a name. This data has the same X range but very different Y range. So we create a new axis above the current one by splitting the Y axis. Hold down the Option key while dragging to clone the command. Draw in a different axis by clicking on the axis selector. By dragging the group onto the command, you can select columns with the same name from the new group instead of changing them one by one. Change this axis also to logarithmic. Open up the command detail. In the column menu, you can see which group the data belongs to. Change the legend name for this command. Then do the same thing for the other command. Click the legend command icon to add a legend. Resize and position it. When you change the drawing style, the legend is updated. If you're putting the graph in a document, you typically want to set the size exactly. You can specify the size in inches, centimeters or pixels. Since pixel density is high, set the magnification to actual to see the final size. The font is defined by using style sheets and it is easy to change the base style. This will affect spacing and tick marks. Type in the axis labels. And the overall title. You can override the base font, the style or the size relative to the base font.
This makes it easy to change the font globally. You can copy the graph. This copies it both as a PDF and a bitmap. You can also save the graph into a file. You can select which format you want to use. And for bitmap formats, you can specify the resolution.